很多人认为美国关切维吾尔人权，或者是全世界对维吾尔人权的关系是有它的遗憾的。但中国大陆的看法是，他认为当时西武事件，就是那个时候发生在整个新疆所出现的整个抗争也好、暴动也好、烧杀掳掠也好，他认为他根本。就是属于美国跟欧洲通常定义的恐怖事件。如果这是一个恐怖事件，为什么发生在中国不叫恐怖事件，只是民主抗争或是人权事件？于是他在这地方进行了很严格的监控。他认为这种监控，跟你美国跟你西方对于一些你们所怀疑的恐怖分子的监控，并没有太大的差别。但是，美国方面的说法跟国际的说法是认为，你不可以对一个特定的种族，你可以对恐怖分子的组织进行监控。那么，这是我们所看到的江民事件。在江民事件之外，美国自己本身有一些事情也被人权组织所批评，其中最著名的是关达纳莫。你很难想象，两千零一年美国发动了阿富汗战争，然后在二零二一年的时候，八月三十号完全撤出了阿富汗，阿富汗的悲剧。到现在为止，只有越演越烈。可是，在二零零二年，他认为有一群人应该被他逮捕，然后不经审判，关在关达纳摩。在关达纳摩这里呢，是他的反恐战争里头，他认为的恐怖分子。为什么说是他认为？因为他没有经过审判呢、啊。而且在那地方进行属于国际人权组织不能够同意的水刑。而且对当地是虐囚的一个状况，他恶名昭彰。从两千零二年一月十二号创建以来，总共羁押的人数高达七百八十人啊。那七百八十人对美国人来讲不是很多的人，但是对于一个高举人权的国家来讲，这个人数并不算少。在奥巴马任内，奥巴马说大话，我要关掉他，奥巴马没有关掉。川普任内，川普说这些人水刑就是对的，被很多人骂。Joe Biden 在竞选的时刻，他说他要关掉。但是到去年十二月的时候，美国国会通过一个法令，这个法令是，虽然可以关掉关达纳摩，但是要移到美国的本土监狱来。对于这一群人，美国认为恐怖分子没有人权。Well, 20 years ago today, the first prisoners arrived in Guantanamo Bay, the detention camp that was set up by the U.S. following the 9/11 attacks. Until 20 years ago, few Americans paid any attention to Guantanamo Bay, a U.S. military base in southeastern Cuba since 1903. Two decades on, it's known all around the world. In a clear breach of human rights, most prisoners were held indefinitely without trial. Some say has come to symbolize one of the biggest U.S. moral failings in the war on terror. Mohamedou Oltsla, he was held here for 14 years, suspected of involvement in the 9-11 attacks, but never charged for a crime. He was brutally tortured and suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder until today. Three, four nights ago, I woke up and I was shaking so scared because I saw my, uh, my jacket on the door and I thought it was someone coming to get me. And it took me a very long time. Sometimes I wake up, I cannot breathe. The details of what American interrogators did to detainees in the dark days after 9-11 are vivid and gruesome. Stripped naked and diapered, one detainee chained to a wall for 17 straight days in a standing position, another threatened with a drill, one left to die in a cell from hypothermia. At least five detainees were hydrated or fed through a tube inserted into the colon to give the interrogator, quote, total control over the detainee. The interrogations of CI detainees were absolutely brutal, far worse than the CIA represented them to policymakers and others. The first terrorist detained, Abu Zubaydah, believed then to be a key Al-Qaeda operative, was waterboarded 83 times at a CIA black site. After convulsing and vomiting, in one session he became completely unresponsive, with bubbles rising through his open, full mouth. Kept in a coffin-sized box for 11 days, he was told the only way he would leave the facility was in a coffin. 
Today's report concluded that despite the extreme interrogation, Zubeda had no new information about future plots. Eventually, even the CIA team began to fall apart. It seems the collective opinion that we should not go much further. Several on the team profoundly affected, some to the point of tears and choking up. Ever since it was opened, human rights activists argue Guantanamo is where the U.S. lost its moral authority, a place of torture and double standards that is mostly of limits for our camera. But there's also another side of Guantanamo, a place where 6,000 inhabitants try to go about their everyday lives in a bizarre contrast to the infamous prison. Residential areas resemble small-town America, some normalcy in a place full of contradictions. Radio Gitmo delivers the soundtrack for Guantanamo, and she is Gitmo's voice. All right, all right, Gitmo, hello, hello. Welcome to your morning show with DJ Candles, otherwise known as Petty Officer Annalise. Court Cardinale. trials in the it prison is. are not part of their coverage. It's not really part of, like, the culture here, you know? That's a, another side of the base. Here on this side, we have a whole different type of operations going here. The new school allows its students somewhat of a normal childhood, five kilometers from the notorious torture prison. Good. Okay, what are some other things that you know about Native Americans? That's actually the message that Guantanamo Bay sent to the whole world. They said there are two kinds of people in this world, people who don't deserve the rule of law, like Muslim young people, and people who deserve the rule of law. Guantanamo is a necessary part of protecting the American people. And uh, so long as the war on terror goes on, so long as there's a threat. Tales of torture that shocked the world soon emerged from the site. Perhaps most damning of all was the eventual conclusion that the jail established to combat terrorism was actually having the opposite effect. I continue to believe that Guantanamo uh, is a recruitment tool for terrorist organizations. 于是，奥巴马在两千零九年签署行政命令，宣布一年内关闭关达纳姆监狱。为何十多年过去了，监狱还在 ？Obama's pledge to close the prison went unfulfilled. Joe Biden is experiencing a similar difficulty. How do you just shut it down? It requires agreement between the White House and Congress. That's not going to happen. The larger picture here is the way it was set up. Has made it so no future administration can get rid of it, and, and I worry that we're going to be stuck with this until the last prisoner dies. Out of almost 800 former detainees, 39 are still incarcerated in Guantanamo. Only two have been convicted of a crime. Well, they were looking at this and saying, "You've got these people there 20 years after setting up this prison. Why haven't you brought them to the U.S., charged them with a crime, and tried them like you're supposed to do?" when you're respecting the rule of law. Well, in terms of bringing them to the U.S., unfortunately, Congress passed a law that they cannot be brought to the U.S. for any purpose, including a prosecution. Uh, there is this military commission process, and 12 of them have faced charges there. That process has had uh, many, many problems it, itself. The reason the others haven't been brought to trial there is there simply is not the evidence uh, to do so, and that is why they need to be transferred out of Guantanamo immediately. And when I say transfer to them, I'm not saying transfer to incarceration. I'm saying transfer to freedom. Those 27 should be transferred to other countries. It's, uh, it's difficult to work that out, but it is something that is very important. It can be done. In the first year of the Biden administration, there's only one person that has moved from Guantanamo, and that is just far too slow a pace. But there was a sense the U.S. had lost its moral compass. The nation that saw itself as a beacon of democracy, resorting to tactics more familiar to dictatorships. And for as long as it remains open, Guantanamo jail is likely to continue to be a stain on America's international reputation. History will judge us by our commitment to a just society governed by law and the willingness to face an ugly truth and say never again.